Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the topic material. In this material topic, I'm going to explain you about store keeping. What are the records kept in stores store keeping? In examination, a question may be asked, explain about bin card and stores ledger. What are the differences? What is the importance of this department called store keeping department? So all these things I'm going to explain you in this video. So watch the video till the end. So before starting the video, take the screenshot of the points which I've written on the board, then I'll explain all the points. Now, material. <clears throat> material constitutes the substantial portion of the total cost of production. The management's objective is to control, to reduce the cost of production. In order to reduce the cost of production, more concentration to be given to that part of cost of production which is substantial in amount. That is material. In most of the manufacturing organization, major portion of total cost is on material. So it is necessary, it is indispensable that material cost should be controlled. So one of the technique of controlling the material cost is store keeping department. It's a department which is concerned with controlling, managing the stores. Stores means the place where all the material is kept. So this store keeping is that it is that aspect of material management which is concerned with physical storage of material that means once material is purchased it should be properly taken care of it should be kept in a department called stores department properly it should be i mean classified into different racks then time to time records are maintained for the movement of st stock like that so it is that aspect of material management which is concerned with physical storage of material. How the material should be kept. Now goods are received into the stores after inspection and are held and issued production as and when required. See, first of all, whenever material is required, a purchase order will be placed to the supplier. The supplier will send the material. After receiving the material, the material has to be inspected that whatever we have ordered the same thing we have received or not or is there any damaged material so after inspection the material will be sent to stores so that the storekeeper must maintain the stores must maintain the material as and when material is required in the factory the material should be issued the storekeeper is the person who is responsible for controlling the stores department he should record all the receipts of material and all the issues of material. Now, effective storekeeping and inventory control are indispensable for control of material cost. So two aspects are there. That means this is uh, storekeeping and also inventory control. These two aspects are there of material management. And when the business focus more control on storekeeping and inventory control, then definitely the cost of material will come down. Otherwise, what will happen if the management does not give full focus on storekeeping and inventory control, the material cost will increase. When material cost increases, the total cost of production increases, decrease in the profitability. So now importance of storekeeping. Why storekeeping is so important? Because Proper maintenance of stores will keep will help the storekeeper to know the actual quantity. So management must know how much is the actual quantity of material is on hand. What is the value of material on hand? So always management wants to know what is the value and what is the quantity of material on hand in the stores. For that purpose, we need to keep a department called store keeping department. Second, systematic arrangement of uh, stores help easy identification. If all the materials are dumped in the stores, it will be difficult to identify. So whenever material is required, we have to search a lot because everything is uh, dumped. There is no proper way of uh, keeping all the material. So if store keeping department stores are properly managed easily we can be able to identify the material third one proper information of material movement material movement means material will be received and material will be issued 
material will be received from the supplier and properly stored and whenever it is demanded in the factory it will be issued this is called movement of material so all the movement of material should be recorded that is the main importance of storekeeping next one losses arising from theft pilferage spoilage etc can be avoided by proper storage of material so if we keep a proper systematic storage of material there are less chances of theft less chances of pilferage spoilage all these things can be reduced if we have proper control on the stores so this shows the importance of storekeeping department now storekeeping records how the recording will be done for the movement of material because until and unless we keep proper record we cannot be able to control so controlling depends systematical recording of all the movement of material so what are the records kept appropriate stock records are necessary so that organization do not have to depend on physical stock taking every time to ascertain the quantity in stores so if we do not keep the stores record what will happen every time stock taking physical stock taking has to be done whenever material is uh, received or metal is issued it will be difficult for the business every time after receiving the metal we have to count how many units are there every time when we issue we have to count how many items are there physical stock taking must be done every after every receipt and issue that will be a big hectic uh, activity so in order to avoid that the management has to keep a proper record so that properly we can be able to know how much is the balance it helps the storekeeper to track the minimum maximum and reorder level and action appropriately see here in order to control the material different techniques are there one of the technique is stock levels stock levels are fixed maximum level minimum level reordering level by keeping this level the inventory can be controlled the inventory should not go beyond maximum level the inventory should not come down below minimum level and reordering level whenever inventory reaches that level a new order has to be placed all these things systematically must be written in the stores in order to control the inventory stock records ensure better control and any discrepancy because of pilferage theft can be managed better so if proper records are kept easily we can be able to control we can be able to minimize the chances of theft the chances of pilferage spoilage deterioration all these are the losses of material these losses can be avoided minimized if we keep proper records it becomes easy to value the material if you want to find out what is the value of material in the stores easily we can get because we are keeping proper records so there are two main important records to record all the inventory items they are bin card and stores ledger this is very important very frequently in examination they will ask you about bin card and stores ledger these are the two main records for recording the material first we'll discuss about bin card the stores are normally divided into racks which are further subdivided into smaller spaces see here in a in a stores department all the material will be kept in racks a rack is a place and then again subdivided the racks will again be subdivided into small spaces and each that space where material is kept is called a bin so separate material different type of material are kept in different racks each such rack is called a bin so bin means a place where every item of material is kept so separate bins are there for separate types of material so that is called bin so bins are uh, and one and one item material one item is allotted bin is a place where material is kept simply bin is a place where material is kept now a bin card is a thick sheet of paper meant for recording receipts issues and balance of material stores in that particular bin so every rack in that rack a bill a, a card will be hanged a thick paper will be hanged that is called bin on that bin card all the details about the material code material number name of the material maximum level minimum level reordering level receipts issues all this data will be written in that card and it is the responsibility of the storekeeper to record the details of every type of material on the bin card now the performance of bin card is bin card so bin number should be given material code number maximum stock level minimum stock level ordering level then these are the format 
This is the table of bin card. First date column, then a big column, receipts column, issues column, balance column. Again in receipts columns, two sub columns are there GRN, goods received note number. GRN stands for goods received note number and quantity. Then issue column stores requisition note number, SRN, stores requisition note number quantity. Then balance, quantity and remarks. So this is a simple format of the BIM card. In this BIM card, the storekeeper will record the movement of material. When the material is received, it will be recorded in receipt column. When material is issued to the production department, issue column. After every receipt and issue, balance is stuck. That's it. This is BIM card. Now store ledger. The second record of uh, material, so, I mean recording, is the store ledger. Now the costing office records all particulars of material received and issued in a separate record called the store ledger. See, the storekeeper in stores, he is recording in BIM card. Whereas one more department is the cost accounting department. Here cost accountant is there. The cost accountant will keep a record called store ledger. In this store ledger, he records all the receipts of material, issues of material and the balance of material. Now it records quantity, price and value of the material received and issued. A balance is recorded after every receipt and issue. Just like the BIM card, the cost accountant will also maintain the columns of receipts, issues and balance. But one more extra item he will record the price. The storekeeper is not concerned about the value, about the price. He is concerned only with quantity. But here the cost accountant is concerned not only with the quantity but also with the price and value. So same type of recording will be done by stores uh, by the costing department. But here every receipt will have four columns. Goods received note number, quantity, unit price, amount. Similarly issue also four columns. Stores requisition, quantity, rate, amount. Last balance will have three columns. Quantity, rate, amount. So one extra column which is opened by uh, cost accountant is the value and rate, right? Now, the balance is stated in quantity as well as value based on the method of pricing of material. There are different methods of pricing of material like FIFO method, LIFO method, simple average, weighted average. Accordingly, he will record the value of material. Now, uh, the store ledger must be prepared by an independent person and storekeeper should have nothing to do. That means these two persons are completely separate. Storekeeper is in stores and cost accountant is in costing department. So both records are completely independent. That means the storekeeper does not have any access on store ledger and store ledger does not have any access on the so the cost accountant will not have any access on the stores department. Both are completely independent. Now, one question will be asked in examination. What are the differences between bin card and stores ledger? Both are records used to enter the transaction of material received and material issued. But what are the differences? First, it records entry only in terms of quantity. Bin card will record only items in quantity not in price. The price value column is not there in bin card. Whereas store ledger, it records entry both in quantity as well as value. Secondly, entries are made by the storekeeper. In bin card, the entries are made by the storekeeper. But entries in store ledger will be entered by the cost accountant. Thirdly, only material moving into and out of stores are recorded. Inter-department transfer are not recorded. Only material coming into the stores and going out from the stores that will only be recorded in bin card. Whereas the inter transfer, inter department transfer that means once material is issued to A department, internally the material is transferred from A department to B department that will not be recorded in bin card and that will be recorded in the stores ledger. In store ledger, movement of material between one department to another department that will be recorded. But here in bin card, not recorded. Then entries are made independently on receipt of issue of material. As soon as the material is issued, as soon as the material is issued, received or issued, immediately it will be recorded in bin card. But in case of store ledger, the entries are recorded periodically. 
that means after every three days or after every one week like that periodically entries will be recorded in store center lastly usually kept inside the stores the bin card is kept inside the stores whereas the stores ledger is kept in the cost accounting department these are the differences between bin card and stores ledger so in this video i have explained you about the store keeping department its importance and then what are the records to be kept bin card stores ledger and what the video two three times definitely confidently you can write in examination this question on this question and if you want the complete detail of this material go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced accounting or oh sorry cost accounting there you can be able to get the complete problems on this material inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video